Okay, welcome everyone. Um, welcome Dr. Furman, Dr. Pai, and Dr. Khan. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Steve. Pleasure. Thank you, Steve. So for our audience, I just want to say a few things on why this panel is very unique. Um, all these uh, speakers are medical doctors. They all treat patients. They all live a whole food plant-based diet. They are authors. They are smart. They are open-minded, curious, and they do extensive research. I don't know if you follow um, them um, outside of this, but they do extensive research and appear to be very, very curious to find out the truth. So to be able to gather them and say, what have you found? So that we don't have to spend our life trying to dig through all this detailed information to get answers. Um, I consider this incredibly valuable and I'm very grateful that we have this opportunity. <clears throat> so when we, you know, when we do the real, when we started the real truth about health, like 10, 12 years ago, um, I thought it was, I was, you know, I guess 48, 47, I was having fun. Um, now I'm 59, I'm turning 60. And unfortunately, I know people that have gotten sick. So I feel less like this is a playful discussion comparing diets to urgent that I really understand the truth because real people in my real life have had very real health challenges and some have passed away. And so I would like to be the most accurate I can in telling people the truth. Um, we don't sell products. I don't really want to have an agenda. I'd like to tell people the most accurate information if I could find out what it is. So to get started, um, I want to, um, I think I want to uh, show you something from today from one of our lectures. Um, so first, I think, I hope I didn't misquote you, Dr. Furman, but I think I've heard you say that you've been dealing with long-term vegans, and there are some long-term vegans that you've dealt with that ended up with dementia. And therefore, you had to be smart and careful about how you approached your health because it's not a guarantee just because you're plant-based that you are out of the woods. Um, and right. And not just long-term vegans, but super healthy eating long-term vegans. Because people say a vegan diet doesn't have to be healthy. You could eat junk food on a vegan diet. But these were people who were eating a whole food, plant-based diet of all natural foods, fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans. And they were not anything. They were They were from the natural hygiene movement and from the American Vegan Society, but mostly from the natural hygiene movement of people who develop problems in their later life. And part of the reason is that um, most people aren't getting demented because they're omega-3 fatty acid deficient. They're getting demented because they're eating meat and cheese and bacon and cheeseburgers and pizza, and they're phytochemical deficient. Their diet's high in saturated fat. They have poor circulation of blood to the brain. And, they, and so the average American, it's only a small percent of the people on a standard American diet that are deficient by omega-3 fatty acid deficiencies. But in a super healthy vegan eating population who doesn't have all those risks for dementia, the fact that they would get dementia, they, there has a different reason why they're getting dementia. So the argument that, you know, there's not more dementia in vegans than non-vegans, so there can't be that, but it's, that's a, a mythical and incorrect argument. We shouldn't see any dementia in vegans if we're doing everything right. And obviously, I, I feel I'm the physician with the most experience being in practice for you know 40 years dealing with this population because when I got into this movement, I was 18, you know, I was a kid, I was a kid, and I got, you know, and I was going to these conferences at, at 18 and 19 years old, and my mentors, the people I respected, I was learning from that I that I admired. And um when they got older, I mean I was a physician, they were now 30, 40 years older than me, or you know, they're 60 and I'm 20, and then they became 80 and I became 40. And you know what I'm saying? So the, a lot of these people who were my who I knew very well from my young years, I saw this population of people who I expected to live a long, long life did not. And some of them died prematurely of Parkinson's disease, like Dr. Sidwa and Dr. Shelton. And some had, and, and a lot of these people from the movement, because I was a, a physician, a lot became my patients, a lot of people from this, the plant-based movement. So I was one of the physicians, the pioneers, treating people following a healthy plant-based diet way before this became this popular and seeing people in there, you know, that started this in the 1950s and 60s. So I'm, I'm more, uh, more alert to the potential risks of um, what are the potential, um, you know, missing links in a vegan diet that could result in a person developing some neurological problems later in life. Okay. So hold on. So just uh, to go back a step, 
So there's a lot of people. We have 80 speakers at this conference. And one of the general themes is a whole food plant-based diet. And a lot of people are saying, um, you know, um, keep your fat low, keep your cholesterol low, keep your saturated fat low, which is very common. I want to just play you a video. I'm not trying to create like drama. I really want to just know clearly. Gabriel Cousins spoke today. He's 80 years old. He said a bunch of things, and I'm going to show you what he said. And then I'd like for each of you to give me your thoughts so you can help clarify because it's kind of a very big issue. And again, the goal of The Real Truth About Health is to be accurate, not to just follow the momentum. And I don't know, I, I don't have the background to interpret this. So I'd like if the three of you would. So could we play the highlight video from Gabriel's lecture today? And then I'd like for each of the three of you to give me, share your thoughts with us. And a high carbohydrate diet. So when Joe Furman talks about, well, he sees a lot of people with vegans with brain uh, you know, degeneration. Um, I look at the high carbohydrate diet, which I don't support because it stimulates brain inflammatory pathways. Now, to me, this is a really important study, the Journal of Alzheimer's 12, 12, 2012. I'm just going to read it because it's so important. Older people, and I, we're talking people above 60, eating a high carbohydrate diet. Get the word high carbohydrate because we're told a lot in the vegan world that you want a high, high complex carbohydrate diet. People are talking about 70% carbohydrate. Yeah, well, here's the result. Have nearly four times the risk of, of, of developing mild cognitive impairment. So this is what David Pulmoner in his book, Grain Brain, uh, I thought he did really good work. A diet heavy in inflammatory carbohydrates, which mostly they are, low in healthy fats, messes with the mind in more ways than one. But let's say messes with the brain in more ways than one. So fat is the preferred fuel of human metabolism, and it's been that way through evolution until we started farming about 10,000 years ago. Next slide, please. Now, this is really important because along with this high complex carbohydrate diet, we just have this cholesterol fear. And this is one of the second reasons I, I think that vegans tend to get more Alzheimer's because people with the highest cholesterol scored higher on cognitive tests than those with lower cholesterol levels. So this is my, I'm really talking more about cholesterol here, but Netherlands, Alzheimer's have lower amounts of cholesterol, free fatty acids in their, in their cerebral spinal fluid. That is really important. As 2007 study showed that people who are regularly consumed omega-3, this is one of the supplements I'm gonna talk about, they were 60% less likely to develop dementia than those who didn't regularly consume such oils. That's DHA and EPA. High cholesterol is associated with better memory function. And it's the preferred fuel for your heart. I mentioned the, um, so atrial fibrillation, high omega-3, 85% lower risk of dying from all causes. Mm -hmm.